Tell the feeling like I'm trapped in my damn mind. Tell the feeling like I'm rapping a damn lie. Tell the feeling like my life is a damn game. Nigga really wanna die in the night time. Only time I feel pain when I'm feeling love. That's why I said it on my Today, I'm not what I think I am. I'm not what you think I am. I am what I think you think I am. Very often in life, we don't do what we love to do because somebody's opinion of you matters more to you than your opinion of yourself. Somebody's opinion of you matters more to you than your opinion of yourself. Let me now tell you something that maybe you already know. Someone's opinion of you does not have to become your reality. Period. Hey, what's up my friends? Welcome back for another video. Today guys, we are going to speak about success. Oh, beautiful! <laughs> so, the first part of this video is going to focus on tips that will help you become massively successful. Then I will move on to share with you some of the top online tools that you guys can use to become, to achieve that success that you want. So make sure you watch till the end. Before I share my tips about success with you, let me ask you one simple question. What is your definition of success? Is it having billions of dollars, buying all types of supercars? Learn more! Or maybe you have something that you really love to do. change the world with your natural gifts and skills. My main point is that you have to decide in advance what is your unique definition of success. Take a pen and a paper, take some time, reflect on this and then continue to watch this video. Do it! So now let's move to the tips. What can you guys do to become massively successful? Oh, yeah. First of all, find your passion. I know that I have been repeating this in practically all my videos, but what do you want me to do? You want me to make up some dumb shit, some fake things to talk about? Now, finding your passion guys is really important because what you are going to do you want to become massively successful you guys will have to climb a really really high mountain and there's a great quote that I love which goes like the hardest climbs gives you the most beautiful views and that's so true so that's the first thing know what you love to do every day what excites you what gets you in flow second tip have a clear vision this one is really important because if you guys don't know where you want to go how will you go there it will be like running a marathon with a blindfold how the fuck would you do that? <laughs> Next point is have purpose. It's really great to do what you love to do every day. But like I think Jay Shetty said that, he said that passion is for you and purpose is for others. We human beings are wired for generosity. One thing that really, really makes us happy, really happy, is giving to others. Like Tony Robbins said, the secret to living is giving. I really think that Mr. Beast would love this one. What do you think? 
What is going on? Three thousand. Three thousand dollars. Three thousand. Three thousand. The purpose is something way bigger than you. It's an infinite game. It starts with you, but will never end with you. One is playing finite, and the other one is playing infinite. Guess which one gets frustrated? Next point is build your ideal inner circle. There's a quote that goes like, you become an average of the five people that you spend the most time with. And that is so true. If you hang out with criminals, you will become a criminal. If you hang out with drug addicts, you will become a drug addict. If you hang out with lazy motherfuckers, you will become a lazy motherfucker. <laughs> but hopefully, if you hang out with billionaires, millionaires of people, who are trying to get better and better each and every day, you will become the best version of yourself. So guys, choose carefully. Who do you want to add into your inner circle? I'm not talking about your existing circle. When you build a new one, you need to add other people in it, not your current surroundings. Show me your friends and I will show you your future. Next one is mind control. Well, in my opinion, this one is the most important to become massively successful in life. I will really make a complete video focused on mind control, but let me share with you quickly uh, how controlling your mind will help you to become successful in life. Learning to control your emotions. Professionals call it emotional coaching. And it has been proven that emotional coaching is much, much more powerful than IQ. Humanity has known a lot of massively successful people who had low IQs but very, very high EQ. They knew how to manage their own emotions and that of others. Jack Ma, the founder of the Alibaba Group, is one of the best examples I can give you. Go check him out, guys. Truth is, uh, when you follow your dreams, you will face a lot of setbacks, a lot of obstacles, a lot of failure, and you will feel pissed off and frustrated. And it's all okay, guys. Because we are human, we are creatures of emotion. It's okay to feel anger, pissed off, frustrated for a short period of time. But it's not okay to stay into that negative emotion. That's the main difference between highly successful people and people who stay average. People who become massively successful know how to interpret these negative emotions and turn it into something positive. The average people can get pissed off for one month straight. Dreamers, the doers, the action takers cannot afford to lose precious time and energy into these negative emotions. In my opinion, learning to tap into calmness, stillness, peace and equanimity, like Jesha would say, is really a super power. It is really one of your most precious tools that will help you become that successful person. Personally, uh, meditation has really, really helped me to tap into this power. It has helped me to sharpen the soul of my mind. Big shout out to Stephen Covey, the author of the book Seven Habits of Highly Successful People. Next one, self-discipline. 
for this one doing what you really love every day and doing this not only for you not only to make money but for others this will really help you to become focused and self-disciplined successful people do what they can they do things even though they don't feel like I'm uh, saying right now, like, hey, only do the things you want to do. Dude, I do stuff I don't want to do every single day. <laughs> they become obsessed with success, obsessed with their passion, obsessed to help others. I don't mean obsessed in a negative way. Grant Corden, a famous entrepreneur and social media influencer, once said something. Uh, he said that an obsessed person is not afraid to clean the toilet you get to choose guys do you want to be obsessed or average you choose just pick get a t-shirt obsessed or get another t-shirt average <laughs> which one would you be more proud wearing right <laughs> yeah. my next point is dogma or people's opinion of you Steve Jobs, the founder of Apple PLC, said in his famous speech at Stanford University that you've got to have the courage to follow your heart and intuition. They somehow already know who you really want to become. Everything else is secondary. Have the courage to follow your heart and intuition. They somehow already know what you truly want to become. He said have the courage he could have just said, follow your heart and intuition. But no, he insisted on having the courage. Why is that? The reason is, in my opinion, that we are social beings and we need others to survive and for our mental health. Guys, isolation will get you insane within days and may even kill you within weeks. Big shout out to those facing depression right now. I know that it feels really bad, but disconnecting from the world will not help you. Go out and ask for help. This will really save your life, guys. Back to our point. So, we are social beings and we need others to be able to survive. This is a survival instinct. But in our modern world, this really acts as a barrier to our dreams. Very, very long ago, if you left your group, you would have fucking died. Hopefully, nowadays, we are safer than we were before. And when we feel safe, we can now tap into the unknown. We will then be really able to tap into our intuition and follow our heart, like Steve said. You should be able to stop giving a fuck about what other people are thinking about you. The only thing that's keeping you back is the other people that are judging you. And who gives a fuck about that? This will take time and a lot of practice. It's a skill and no one is born with it. Next one is have a plan. Oh, I really struggled with this one. But a piece of wisdom that I've learned is that it's good. It's very good to have a clear vision. You absolutely need a clear vision. But it's way better to have a road map that will take you to that vision of yours. A plan will lead you from point A to point B. This will help you get that sense of control and also help you make changes along the road. And believe me, you will need to make some changes. You will even need to modify your vision. Leaders need to do that kind of things. In a thousand and one little and sometimes larger ways, the vision needs to be reiterated. I do that a lot. Next one is have gratitude. Tony Robbins, one of the best life coaches out there, once said in an interview, gratitude, no, he said cultivate gratitude for the things you already have and everything that's added will feel like a bonus. Oh, that's beautiful. Let's say you feel grateful for being alive, you feel 
grateful for all the things you already have a family, friends, a husband or wife by your side. Everything that's added to that will feel like a bonus. Gratitude is really, really important, guys. I have made a video on gratitude to my first video. If you are not feeling grateful, that means you are focusing on lack, on things that you don't have yet. And this will make you feel pretty pissed off and frustrated, I think. Now, let's hack the mind. Try to reprogram mine, man. Gratitude means feeling thankful for things or experiences we had in the past. So, what if we could feel grateful in advance for things that we will have in the future? Yeah, you heard me right. Feeling grateful is sense of thankfulness in advance for things that we don't even have yet. The reason we can do that is because our brain cannot make the difference between what's real and what's imaginary. Wow! So whatever you can imagine vividly and feel that emotion, your brain will just believe that it's real that it happened and it's that kind of energy that will lead you to your dreams. A last thought guys before I share with you the top online tools that will help you become massively successful is <laughs> Let me tell you what I really mean by that. You only live once. So why let fear of judgment or any other fear prevent you from becoming your best self? This is useless. You will certainly die in the next 80 years, but you simply don't know when. So decide to take action on your dreams and now do not say, oh, I'll keep that for tomorrow. No. What if tomorrow never comes? What if today is your last day on earth? How would you know? Now is always the best time to make something happen. The past is gone. The future is uncertain. What you really have is the present moment. It's in the present moment that you can take action. Having tips are great, but having tools that will help you using the tips I've given to you is even better. All the tools, the programs that I will share with you, I will put the link in the description below. So feel free, if you're interested, go and click and try it. Let's do this. Number one, Overnight Millionaire by Wesley Virgin. Wesley Virgin was just a run-of-the-mill computer engineer who would turn out to become a millionaire and at the same time transforming people's lives. Now he's widely accomplished yet doesn't have a degree. His companies are growing by millions and he has over 1.5 million customers worldwide. Wesley has been called an overnight millionaire because his success was quick and uncommon. He uncovers in his program the metaphysical methods he used to become successful. This program will help you gain mind control at a very small price. And icing on the cake, it has a 60 day money back guarantee. So you have nothing to lose. Trying to, you trying to reprogram people's mind, man? Is that what you're trying to do, man? Try to reprogram mine, man. Hey, well done, uh, Wesley, on everything you're doing over there, man. Keep inspiring people, okay? Giving them hope, giving them, get them a way out. Next great tool is called Manifestation Magic, designed by Alexander Wilson. Manifestation Magic is a very practical and down-to-earth program that understands that you need to make changes within. A lot of people who have tried this program have seen a lot of changes in their life. And guess what? Me too. Guys, I was always terrified about not making enough money in the future 
and I was focusing subconsciously on it, meaning that these thoughts were unconscious. I was not even aware that I was thinking these. Now, after having used this program for more than two months, every single day, I can focus easily on my priorities and life is great again. So how does it work? This program uses NLP, Neuro Linguistic Programming, to change your behavioral patterns and alter your neurological processes. Well, in simple terms, it helps you clean your subconscious mind and get rid of old negative thoughts. Friends, give it a try, it really works and it has a 100% money back guarantee. Next tool, number three, your passion plan. This is a program designed by Mrs. Janet Bray Atwood, who is the co-author of the New York Times bestseller, The Passion Test. Your passion plan program has been designed to help you identify your passions, connect to the power of rituals, and take meaningful action toward living your unique life design. Even Jack Canfield, the author of the famous series called Chicken Soup for the Soul, highly recommends this program. If you can't afford this program, which is not that high, it is at $97, I suggest that you read her book first and then you decide if you want to try her passion plan for you. Number four, think like a monk, Jay Shetty. Jay Shetty has been my biggest inspiration to start making videos. You guys don't know him or have never heard about him. Maybe you were living under a rock. For those who don't know Jay, let me tell you that he has been a monk for three years and is now sharing his wisdom through his powerful videos on self-development, relationship and business. He has even recently published his first book which I highly recommend you to read. Guys, who has better mastered the mind than a monk? This is the reason I highly recommend you to read this book and follow Jay Shetty. 67 Steps by Ty Lopez. This was the first online program I have ever bought and since then I have been growing every single day. For those who don't know him, Ty Lopez is a famous social media entrepreneur and one of his videos named Here in my garage went viral. This was because he shot this video as the title say in his garage and in his garage there was a lot of lambos and books unfortunately i don't have the right to promote his 67 steps program however i would suggest that you go to his website and check it for yourself or you can try business insiders summary number five seven habits of highly successful people by Stephen Covey. The title of this book speaks for itself. This is one of the best self-development book ever made on success. This is a masterpiece. Number seven, As a Man Thinker by James Allen. Friends, I listen to this audiobook five times a week and this has helped me so much to rewire my brain and attain a state of equanimity. This book is widely considered the greatest self-help book of all time. Even Tony Robbins said that this book is the foundation of the power of thought. These were the tools that in my opinion will really really help you on your journey to massive success. If you guys want to try out these programs or buy these books, please find the links in the description below. Thank you so much for watching this video till the end. This really shows how great of a person you really are. If you guys have got some value out of this video, Please feel free to share on social media or with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that like button and ring that bell. See you guys for another video. Peace.
Just do it! Yes, you can! Just do it! Yeah. I don't believe in destiny I just do what's best for me Don't listen to my enemies They're just full of jealousy Yeah, this legacy 